Hello, folks. My name is Detroit Miracle. You know, taking this stroll right now reminds me of a dark layer. Some might wonder, what does that mean, a dark layer? I'm talking about the darkest regions of a soul. The darkest regions, meaning something that you keep sealed, something very terrible, uncivil, animalistic, crazy, just say all of the bad mixed together. Some might wonder, Detroit Miracle, where, where does all of that negativity come from? Well, it comes from all of your negative experiences in life that you try to put away and put blocks up and shelve. I just say all your negative emotions, bad experiences, all of the wrong things, all of the the things that really make you the angriest and the craziest and ideas going with that are always kept and locked away inside of the dark layer of the soul. Yeah, people, if those type of emotions weren't locked and sealed away in the darkest regions of a person or thing, then things could get even more chaotic out on the street because there would be too many violent, crazed, animalistic, uncivil behaving people out there. So those things must be kept in check. I know some are asking, what do you mean things? I mean, those emotions, those experiences, those not too good occurrences in your life in which completely angry you, made you a worse type of character to deal with. They put you in a very bad place. And those things must be kept hidden and, and locked away. Even in your calmness, you can picture those type of emotions that are kept sealed. They, they're kept under lock and key. And it seems like when something sets you off, you tend to get in that particular frame of mind. But due to the conditioning you have, you'll know how to put those emotions away. Or if a wise, civil person will know that it's not worth it to um, be in any situation that's not good. So if they realize that, then they'll know and they do know to take themselves out of that situation. You don't even need to get close to those emotional states of confliction, anger, wrath, hatred, villainy. But nevertheless, people experience a lot of things in life and eventually things are going to make people mad. Eventually things make people angry. You know, eventually things tear at people's emotional states. So those type of negative instincts, ideals, urges, emotions, feelings that are bad, they are there because of those such experiences in society. There's no way around it. Yeah, some live a more privileged, happier life than others, so they don't have too many of those dark emotions to lock away. And fortunately, fortunate for them that that is the case but for others they never had a choice in the matter so they had to come up with safe blocks and seals to keep their very bad contained and their very bad is of them and their emotional states all right folks thanks for hanging out again now I'd appreciate it if you give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to Detroit Miracle. Thank you.